Hey, me, Earthquake, how y'all doing again? All right, we were talking about Terry by night. We're getting calls from all over the world, South Africa, uh, Belgium, places that I have not been yet, but people are watching this, this broadcast. So we're going to pray. Father, we thank you again for your, for your love, your kindness, tender mercy to your people. They be free. Who the Son says free is free indeed. And we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, we talk about, get your Bibles out. We, we're doing what terror by night, these things here. Remember we talked about last time, we're still talking about it. Those that can't sleep. And Mr. Dot was saying, well, basically, we put his hat on for him. Well, Brother Kelly, people don't need to know these things. They're scared. They're already scared, Mr. Dot. They're already scared. Be quiet. They're already scared. They've got to be unscared now. This is what God is doing. He's, he's building them up so they don't be afraid. Psalms, Psalms 91, and it said, Thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not, you shall not be afraid. In other words, God is commanding of uh, non-fear to hit you. That's yours. He said, what he's saying is, what God is saying in here, it's going to come a time real soon where you will no longer be afraid of these things. He's not talking about judgment day where he tossed them down in the pits of hell. That too. But he's talking about before that day, he said, you shall not be afraid. And that, doesn't that make you feel good? To know that God already had provisions for you not to be afraid anymore. Oh, that, you ought to be getting up shouting. Na -na -na. Na -na -na. You ought to be shouting all over the place knowing that someday your freedom of fear is coming. And your babies. That's right. That's right. This thing here. This thing here. You see, I'm going to show you what this, this thing, what really what this thing is here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you here how and what happens to you every night when you're being scratched. This thing comes in your room. This is what we're going to deal with, get rid of it. Amen? Somebody say amen. Come in your room. Come in your room. Grabs you. Look at this. I'm telling you. I used to be a sorcerer. I know about these things. God delivered me from these things. We come in your room, grab your body, and just start scratching and scratching. Ugly, ugly, hideous nail. This. And men and women of God wake up bleeding. In the morning, too shame, too shame to tell anybody, because you 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 well known in the community, you well known in the church, and nobody hardly wants to know. I mean, nobody wants to let somebody know that they're being scratched at night by something that's scratching you, and and you come out bleeding, and this thing sits up and laughs, sits up and, and it laughs, because it knows. That majority of the Christians who are suffering this don't have no outlet. And he ain't never been exposed around the world. He's being exposed now, though. What did he say? Psalms 91. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night. But God is saying, he's, what he's telling you, he's prophesying to you. God himself is so, so awesome. He prophesied to you, he said, you should, it's going to come a time that you will not be afraid. As many of you, that time is right this very second. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now is that time. Yep, now is that time where these hobgoblins won't be able to affect your ear. We were talking about the ear. You'll be able to sleep now without having the covers pulled up over the top of your head. I'm talking about grown folks. I'm talking about adults. Sleeping with the covers pulled over your head in the church, but still scared. Still scared. And that spirit of Mr. Doubt, it, 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 it hovers. You can hear, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. And the golf's not going to hear you. Oh, the golf's not going to answer you. You're on your own. Get out of here, Mr. Doubt. Get. No, you're not on your own. No. But it say right here, you shall not be afraid. You shall not be afraid. You shall not be. Be able to stand here face to face and say, you know what? Uh-uh. No, you don't scratch me no more. I ain't going to be bleeding. Jesus already shed his blood for me. Already. I ain't got to be bleeding. 
Mm -mm. Nope, I ain't got to believe in the middle of the night. I don't want to church, enjoy myself, and praise God, hit, read the word, and when I get home, then I got to deal with you from Sunday to Sunday. I got to deal with you from Monday to Monday. No. No. Mm -mm. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I'm going to have good sleep. Solomon said, your sleep shall be sweet. Your sleep shall be sleep. I mean, uh, sleep shall be sweet. <laughs> sweet shall be sleep, okay? <laughs> Both ways. All right? I know it's helping somebody out there. And know that's, that's smoking. Do that smoking. California, $9 a pack. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. You smoke two packs a week, that's $18. And 27 3 but some people doing that a day. Now imagine they smoking three packs of cigarettes a day, okay? Three times nine is what, 27? They're doing that three times a day times seven days. You gotta get a calculator out, add it up. Then add it up every month, cigarettes every month, all because you're afraid of the waster and it, it is grabbing your feet and shaking your bed. And you don't seem like, it doesn't seem like God loves you, but he says, you shall not be afraid by the terror by night. You shall not. In other words, God is saying, he's coming with the victory for you. Hold on. Hold on and praise him. He's coming with the victory. Your family not going to go out and be like this forever. Don't care what. Well, well, I don't know, Brother Earthquake. Don't tell them what the doubters and doubt says. That spirit. That spirit. Some of these people, they doubt. They don't even know what time it is spiritually. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. Listen to what the Word of God says. To the Word of God. Well, this is what God says. It's not what that spirit of doubt says. Don't matter. It says, I'm going to read it again because somebody needs to get this. Oh, they said, Earthquake, you mean to say, you're giving me some hope. You mean to say, I don't have to, no, man, you got to drink and smoke to be numb before you go to, before you go to sleep because you're afraid these things going to get you. You're afraid, so you want to be numb. You want to be numb. I know what I'm talking about. We get calls. When the, when the, when the people call me from the, from the aircraft carrier, and I salute them for their service, man. Come on, sis. Come on, y'all. They salute. I mean, I salute them, but they call me and said we are tormented here out in the middle of the ocean. Tormented. Would you ever think that our servicemen and women would be tormented? They ain't scared of the enemy. But it may be they ain't telling you they're scared of the, in the natural enemy. I mean, that's just human nature. Somebody shooting at you would be something to think about. Trust me, I understand what them guns is about. I have a whole nother story, you know. But the spiritual thing, it's a whole new different battle. It's a whole different warfare than shooting back and forth at somebody on the other side of the field or airplane or something like that. It's entirely different because these things come, they come unannounced. They come, in other words, other words, they, they, you could feel, like I said, the radiation of the fear, but it's not the same because they're not coming like you think they come. They come different. Apostle Paul says, principalities, power, spiritual weakness, and rules of the darkness of this world. Four different levels plus the devil himself. All them coming at you. But if he can send his minions out, minions out, to beat you down, minion, 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 minion. Whole different other story about minions, okay? You'll deal with them toys. We're going to deal with toys and, and things like that in another segment. So y'all stand by. We're going to deal with the toys. We ain't going to do, well, well, Brother Kelly, I played with toys when I was a child. <laughs> oh, Brother Kelly. Get out, Mr. Dow. We're not talking about toys as being wrong. There, there are certain type of toys that will cause your children. It's in this book here. It's in this book. It will cause you and your children that open the doors to these creatures. We're going to deal with that. Then you got to get your hands on these books. These are good books. We're going to have book signing too at Barnes and Nobles and those places. We're getting them set up. That book signing in your area. Is do as many cities as we can. Try, we want to spread ourselves out too thin. But we're going to try to cover as, as much territory because there's people who are suffering. And many times they're not getting it where they're worshiping at. They're not because some of the churches, they're not teaching. So the people go there every Sunday and then Wednesday night, Thursday night, whatever, and they come home and have to deal with this. 
So what God said, okay, we'll give you another outlet for you still. You, God said, I got to read it again. You going to read it again, earthquake? I sure am. I sure am. I got to read that again. In case somebody was in the bathroom, you know, we want to, everybody got to go to the bathroom sometimes. So just in case somebody's in the bathroom now that they may be back in the bathroom. What are we going to do? What? Make Mr. Doubt read it? You sure Mr. Doubt need to, want to read this? All right, I'll make Mr. Doubt read it. Get over here, Mr. Doubt. Oh, oh, I don't know. Thou, oh, 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 Psalms, oh, 91, oh, thou shalt not be afraid oh, for the terror by night, nor for the arrow oh, that, that flies by day. Make it, Mr. Doubt. You make that doubt. See, we made, we made that doubt work. We made that doubt be our servant. That's how you do it. That's right. May the doubt be our servant. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, Earthquake? Well, if Mr. if you're going to be there, we're going to put you to work, you lying thing. We're going to put you to work. How are how we going to put me to work? The Bible says that he going to make you our footstool. So we're going to put my foot on your head, doubt. Mm -hmm. Sitting up here lying to God's people. He says, it's a time coming. You're not going to be afraid. You're not going to be afraid. You're not. Not. You're going to have good sleep. Good sleep. You're going to sleep good. Talking to somebody's child. The children out there that's wet in the bed, you're going to be able to sleep. Sleep good. No bad dreams. No bad dreams. No bad dreams. Sleep with the room dark. Yeah, that room is pitch black. Pitch black room, and there you are sleeping in a pitch black room, no light on. I mean, you probably need a light on to keep from stumping your toe if you got to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Sometimes you do even get up and get some water or something. The room is dark, and you're in there sleeping. No bad dreams. Matter of fact, you're having heavenly dreams. You start to have dreams from heaven that you're walking around with God. I've had those kind of dreams that you're walking around that you that you are in a place you're not in the, these hobgoblin places. Hallelujah! You're in a, a beautiful place with God, walking around, enjoying yourself. Hallelujah! I'm telling you, tear it by night. Get your hand on this. Get this book. I'm telling you, it will help you. It will help you. It's not that expensive. None of our stuff is. It will help you. So when you seem like something trying to scratch you, there won't be no more scratching. Mm -mm, you put a stop to that. Because if you don't deal with the scratching, here's what God is saying. Something always worse comes. If you don't deal with the scratching, then you're going to start to see the face of the thing. You're going to start to see his face. And some of you are already seeing his face. You're already seeing it. You don't want to see this thing in the middle of the night. You don't want to see this at the end of your bed, and then it's scratching you too. It's scratching you. It's scratching you in it. Come on, y'all. I don't want to see this. Your child don't need to see this. You advance this, don't need to see this. But if you don't deal with it, you're going to start seeing it. You're going to start seeing it at the end of your bed. End of your bed. You're going to start seeing it. Because what it does now, it's only scratching you in the invisible realm. Most of you, half of you is, is starting to see this now, peeking around the corners at you. The blood of Jesus, man, come on. You ain't got to have this stuff scratching and biting you. You, ooh, my God, you the, we the child of the Most High King. The child, he just got to be running and jumping on us just because. No, let's fight these things back. Let's fight them back. Fight them. Fight the good fight of faith. God made you a, prof, a prophetic promise. A lot of things God don't know. God was prophesying to some of the people. Sure did. Well, oh, oh, there, there, Mr. Doubt go again. Oh, 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 hush, Mr. Doubt. Just hush. Get here. I'm going to read this again. A thousand, verse 7 in Psalm 91. Watch this. You'll, you'll love this. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Want to put a thousand? Two will do what? Put 10,000 to flight. They'll be coming around you. The hobgoblins will be coming around you. Coming around you. A 
thousand of them coming around you trying to scratch you, trying to scratch you, trying to get in, trying to scratch you, trying to get close. And every time they get close, God blacks them off. They come from another end. He'll back them up. They come, they come from the, the, the south side trying to get in, and God backs them up. They come from the air, like an airplane, shh, and he shoots them out the sky. They fall down. They come from the west side, come from over here, trying to get a hold to you, trying to scratch you, and God backs them up. They will, not, according to the word. That's his word. That's his word. That's his word. Wow, wow. Hey, Mr. Dowd again. Oh, wow, Brother Kelly, your time is up now. In the broadcast, Brother Urquhart, get out of here, Mr. Dow. Ain't nobody ending it until it's time. God, people need to hear this. I'll read it again. Would you read that again, Urquhart? I sure will. Get your, book, get your Bible, the ink pen, because some of y'all was eating a sandwich. He was eating so hot. The smacking was out. It was, it was you know, drowning the, 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 the word I was saying. So, you finished? You finished smacking? All right, can I go now? Oh, okay, good. All right. Psalm 90, 91 and 7. Watch, I'll put my Bible over here. So, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, children. Look at that, they can't sleep at night. Watch this, I'm telling you. It's going to build you up, man. You're going to be built up. Don't worry, Mr. Doubt. Don't worry about him. Don't let, don't let him get in your head. A thousand shall fall at thy right side, at thy side, sorry. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. In other words, what is he saying? What is saying? You stick your hand out at them and say the name of Jesus. They say, well, well, Mr. Dow said, well, in school they taught us not to point our fingers. Point your finger at every last one of them evil spirits. Point at them. Point at them. They point at you. They mess up with you. Point at them. And your right hand said, you know what? You are not going to destroy my family. You're not going to toy with my children no more. You're not going to give me bad dreams. You're not going to give me an ulcer. Also, all down in my stomach, and every time I eat something, I have acid reflux, and it's messing up my throat. You're not going to cause me to be tormented. I'm not going to be sleeping, running from room to room all night, wet in my bed, and people calling me a uh, peewee boy and stuff like that, and making fun of me because I'm all wet and it's peed on myself because I'm scared to go to the bathroom at night. I'm not going to do that no more because 10,000 of these things will fall at my side. I'll put my hand out there and watch them fall over like dominoes. And I ain't talking about no pizza either. I'm telling them they'll start falling over. Boom, 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 boom. Because the word of God says so. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Seriously. You're a cry, a child of the most high. Only thing that deal you dealing with wrong with you is that you need some knowledge and wisdom and some and some some punch. You need the, some punch in you from the word of God. Mm-hmm. Watch this. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you, no more near you. Oh, you ought to be dancing, your feet ought to be dancing. You take this hobgoblin that's been trying to throw him down, they say, I step on you in the name of Jesus, I step on you. You don't scratch me no more in the name of Jesus. I, I got the knowledge now, the information. The word is on my side. You just keep throwing that thing down and pick it up and throw it down again in the name of Jesus. You won't torment me. I will not be wet in the bed. And now children will sleep in there with the light off all night long. You speak those things and not as though they already are. And you watch. And when you see, when you see, you, you know who. When you see no, you know who trying to come over. <laughs> well, really, wow, basically, basically nothing. We got the basics. This is the basics right here. This is the basic. Psalms 92. And here's, how, here's some of the part now you start fighting this with. Here's how you start fighting this with. 92, division of Psalms. In verse 1. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto your name, O Most High. All you do, you start praising God. You take an hour a day and start worshiping God and praising God and play you some gospel music and start shouting. And when you see you see any signs of an evil hand coming towards you, you know what to do. Cast that thing down. Cast it down. Thousands shall fall by your side. A thousand. You know what a thousand is? A thousand is a lot. 
Get a thousand bees to come after you at one time. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Get a thousand cars to run off the road on you at one time. Get a thousand airplanes to drop a thousand bombs on you at one time. A thousand is a lot. It is. Get some get some sand and uh, take a thousand pieces of sand in the middle of your hand and try to count them. It's a lot. So God said, I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff that you've been dealing with. A lot of pain that you've been suffering with. A lot of sorrow. Man, right here in the Word. What about Mr. Doubt and all his, his crew? No. That's why we offer these kind of books to you. I'm not trying to take the place of the Bible. But it's just showing you what to deal with. You ain't got to be suffering like this. I know. I dealt with this mess for 11 years. We deal. You got to get your hands on this. We deal with the, what, what, what the difference between a nightmare and a bad dream. Oh, yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference. We deal with how on this page here, page. Come on, page. Get started. Page 12, the Waste of Spirit Boogeyman, how people think they're ghosts and they're not. These are evil fallen spirits, demons that, that take on the appearance. They take on the appearance of a dead loved one or a living one. And they make you think it's somebody in your house. And if you're standing there talking to you and the next minute the person's on the phone, they say, hold on a second. You was just in the house. No, he wasn't. That's this thing seen them done it oh for years when i was into witchcraft that's what they do they're trying to work on your mind because they want you to say something they want you to say i must be losing my mind and when you start saying that then they start to come in but when you say i ain't losing my mind that's like i rebuke you in the name of jesus and that thing will he'll flee we deal with that in here we deal with it we deal with with the choking there's some people in the middle of the night they find themselves choking they feel like something's choking them we deal with that. That's a whole nother segment. A whole entire different spirit we're dealing with. We deal. Oh, you got to get that. It's called Pavor Nocturnus. The same one in the 91st Division of Psalm. Right? They see, these things are in the Bible. David knew about them. He said, well, how did David know? How do you know so much? Well, Saul was, was chosen to be king. When Saul was chosen to be king, he um, um, had a problem with spirits. And it was called Pavor Nocturnus, which was after his head, actually. They wanted to take his head off. Okay, because of the rebellion, all right, and 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 sooner or later the Philistines did get Saul's head, but the point is David, David would play those things off of him. He would, he would play them off with his heart. See, that's a whole blessed story over there, boy. You got to hear about the power of anointed music. Oh man, you didn't know it was a music anointing. Just get on there and start playing, and just like you're doing a concert at church. You're doing a concert, and then when you get to playing, you leave, don't hear the word. You're musicians. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, oh, God. Help us. But this is talking about people who can't go to the bathroom at night. We deal with that. Scared. Scared to go down the hall to the bathroom. This is bad, y'all. We got to get God's people free. We got to. We deal with the incubus, sex spirits. How to deal with them. Incubus, succubus. You can't move. You can't do nothing. You can't even... Only thing you can say is the name of Jesus. Some of y'all going through that all the time. You can't move. You can't be tormenting you so. You can't even move. You can't even lift a finger. That's a raping spirit trying to rape you, trying to get you into submission so he can he can copulate with you. Nasty, evil, nasty. When you start whispering it in your mind, Jesus, Jesus, he can't stand that. Jesus, and then whoosh, it'll get off of you. It'll get off of you. Mm-hmm. We deal with, with all kinds of things. We deal with all of this is in here. Wet dreams. We deal with that. What that is about. See, so there's so much in here. And questions and answers. All of these things are in this book. It's in here for God's people to be set free. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. Now again, if you need to you need to reach out to us, to call us for any reason, any time before we, we go. No telephone number if you want further prayer. If you want further prayer, you just call us. We, we, our staff, we have people here that would pray for you, that would love to pray for you and be there for you. We don't have any doubters here. Mr. Doubt, every time he show his head up, we try to kick him out of here. We kick him out. We have 661-944-1429. Again.
after anyone smoking, if you're still smoking with this, let me tell you. If you're smoking and trying to get relief from that, and it's not going to help you. We pray for the smokers now. Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those that are smoking, Lord, that you will release them from this, God. Set them free. You said who the Son sets free is free indeed, Lord. Free indeed. That they don't spend all this money at the end of the year. Five and ten thousand dollars going up in smoke. Lord, take that out of the taste buds. Take it away from them. Let them turn to you, God. Let them know that this is not their God. They're using this God for some kind of relief, but only relief really comes from you. And we thank you and we bless you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm telling you, it is such a blessing to be helping God's people. We're so happy and delighted that you all again, we go over this again, you will get great sleep. Great sleep. You won't have to worry about being afraid. You turn the lights off, you're going to sleep good. Yeah, you're going to sleep so good. You're going to be, wow, earthquake, man. I slept from the time my head hit that pillow. When I opened my eyes, I looked out the window and the birds were singing. Wow. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Jesus. He's the one that's doing this for you. I'm, I'm just the mailman. I just deliver what he told me. Wow. So let's pray one more time, okay? Father, thank you for them. Those that, are, that can't sleep, let them know. Thousands shall fall. These, these are these things, these hobgoblins, and 10,000 at their right hand. Bless them, God. Keep them. Keep them. Keep them. Deliver them all over the world. South Africa, God. All out in Japan. All out in, in, in China. All those places we get calls from, God. These things will stop. And they will cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. See you next time.